Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Money Brown TV. Money Brown TV. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? This is your Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on a two-time WBC Super Welterweight World Champion and the current unified Super Welterweight World Champion looking to be undisputed. Come July, we take on Brian Castano, Jamil, Iron Man, Charlo. And then we have the two-division world champion and the current WBC middleweight world champion, the big brother, the other twin, Jamal Charlo. Now, everybody, Jamal has came out on ring sides with the Lions. Another hell of a show um, on him and his twin brother birthday. You know, and he let a little few things out the bag. He let a little few things out the bag. First of all, he let people know, right, quit sending stupid ass questions about you know, his brother ducking fighters because, like he said, his brother ain't ducking nobody. But at the same time, he's not in control of his brother's career or telling his brother who to fight. No fighter is afraid of nobody, you know, is what Mel said, and I believe him. But with that being said, he did say some interesting things, you know. Um, he said he possessed something different than his brother. And he also said, you know, that um, him and his brother is not that close as people think. I want y'all to check this out, and then I will be back with my assessment. Right now, my brother does call out a lot of people because he might want to fight them. I don't know. I'm not in control of what he does. And, you know, we we we're we're not as close as people obviously think. This is my channel, so this is where y'all go get the real Jamel from. And I think that uh, y'all gotta pay more attention to what they got going on over there, and pay attention to what Jamel Charlo got going. You on ringside with the Lions right now, and you talking to Jamel Charlo. So please, please, everybody, stay off that Canelo shit, cause that. First off, I'm 154, Canelo 168. There's not ha that, that two way divisions, that can't happen. I can't fight Canelo. We ain't got no, you know, when he was once my weight division, yeah, yeah, I wanted to get it in. 154, I wanted that shit before anybody. But um, moving on, stop these dumb comments and these dumb, you know, like just, if y'all got something dumb and stupid to say, man, get the fuck far back, bro, because it ain't gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and my brother didn't call out a lot of fighters, and he, you know, hopefully one day him and ben Benavides get it in, and hopefully him and Canelo get it in. That's not my weight division. I'm 154, one belt to get. Bron Castano, your ass is next. And anybody else, they're gonna, they gonna get that smoke for them ones that run their mouth. I miss to keep running your mouth. Don't y'all forget that. As of today, and I think it's time for them to understand the difference between me and Jamal. And when they do that, they will understand that I, I, I come to and I possess something different in the ring than my brother does. But other than that, keep it locked with us. You'll see me whipping these Lambos and these beautiful cars around the city. I'm under this little therapy. This is my now, as y'all can see, man, Mel ain't the one to hold back on nothing. He always been trill. He always wears hard on the sleeve. You know what I'm saying? He, you can tell Jamil that that's him, bro. You can tell that's him from beginning to the end. Ain't no changing up. Ain't no switching up. The shitty talk in the ring is the shitty talk outside the ring. And that's what you got to respect about him, bro. But he giving us, you know, what, what he really thinks. You know what I'm saying? He said him and his brother ain't that close at the moment, you know? And um, once he get into that square circle, he want to set himself apart from Jamal Cholo. He want people to see that I am better than my brother. You know, whether that's a competitive thing that's going on between him and his brother, maybe it's always been there. You know, maybe Maul used to always, you know, get more of the recognition than Mel, but now Mel's stepping up saying, you know, now it's my time to be the big brother, you feel me? So we, we never know, but one thing, uh, for sure is, you know, him and Maul, they, they got their little situation going on right now. They got their little situation going on, and that's between them as brothers. That's between them as brothers. You know, but in this boxing game, yeah, Jamel is, you know, he's outshining them all at the moment. He's outshining them all, and this don't take away from what Jamal is doing as a WBC heavy, I mean, middleweight world champion because he is the number one fighter in his division. Just like Jamel Cholo is the number one fighter in his division. You understand what I'm saying? Both of these twins are on top of their divisions. Um, both of um, them got that smoke for whoever, in my opinion. Even though Mel is the one that's about to be undisputed. And that's really, you know, going out there and, and doing what he got to do to make his own lane and make his own history. What you're supposed to be doing. You know, and not worrying about one person. You feel me? 
and Maul could be doing the same thing because he got the fighters right there in the division to to make his history and become undisputed and not be worrying about fucking Canelo. You know what I mean? And Jamel Cholo is getting fed up with the Canelo shit. He, he's tired of being asked about Canelo. He don't want to hear that shit. You know, he just, look, focus on me and what I'm doing at 154. I'm building my own lane. I'm becoming undisputed. You feel me? I'm not chasing nobody. I'm not chasing nobody. And I'm not turning down nobody. I'm not ducking nobody. But I am the guy where I'm at. Everybody needs me now. And I'm one fight away from being fucking undisputed. One fight away from being undisputed. And Jamel Charlo is working his ass off. The dude was working his ass off, bro. You feel me? Like I say, this was presented on, to us on his birthday. Uh, ring sounds with the lines that the last episode they dropped. A hell of a good episode. You know, like I say, um, happy belated birthday to them. But Jamil Cholo is on a fucking mission to be great. He's on a mission to be great. He knows the measure and the steps that he got to take to get there. He's not leaving no stone unturned. Right? He's giving us the best verse, the best back to back to back to back. You understand what I'm saying? And him and EJ is shining like a motherfucker, bro. Him and EJ, Jamil Cholo and Earl Truspin Jr. right now is, is chasing legacy, history, and getting paid in the mix. And getting paid in the mix, bro. Both of them dudes over there with Derrick James. Derrick James got them boys on their shit. And he got them fighting the best of the best of the best. Not saying he's the manager or, or the, the matchmaker. But about Derrick James being a coach and preparing them the way that he's preparing them giving them the, the, the right game plans and, you know, the energy to go out there and believe in themselves that they can beat any motherfucker in their division, right? You got to command that, bro. You got to command that. But, you know, with Jamel and Maul, you know, I think Mel just want to be looked at as Jamel Cholo. Looked at as Jamel Cholo, not as um, the Cholo twins, which that's his brother forever. His brother forever. Nothing going to change that. You feel me? Nothing's ever going to change that. But I feel like he do want to be his own man. He is writing his own legacy. Like you say, that one loss is what defined me from my brother. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do because of that loss, is going to set me up uh, um, atop of him, even though he got an O. Even though he got an O. And looking at my old man, Maul is the big brother. You know, when you're the big brother, you understand how your little brother act. You understand it. Even if you... A couple minutes of port or whatever the situation is, you are the big brother. And you know you got to be the bigger man. And Maul look like the type that got the, the most chill and the most cool, right, to stop whatever they got going on. Like, if they ever, they brothers, they go fight first of all. Let's get that out the way. You know what I mean? You ain't even got to be a fucking twin. And you and your brother go argue or you and your sister go argue. If you got a sister and a brother and y'all never had one argument, y'all never, you know, had a fight or something growing up, then y'all are, you know, two of a kind. You feel me? Because I got motherfucking seven brothers. You dig? And, and I done seen all my brothers argue and fight. And I done fought with my brothers and argue. Same with the sisters. You know what I mean? Nobody is perfect. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister keeper. So we all know how that go. But nonetheless, right? Maul is the one that probably, when the shit do happen, the one that got to come back and apologize because he the big brother. Like, man, that was some bullshit. This, that, and that. Because you know your little brother, man. You know if your little brother walking time bomb. You know if your little brother cool. You know if you ain't going to apologize. You know if he is going to apologize. You know what I mean? But you know and you, you got to be the bigger person to squash that shit and to get everything back on track where it's supposed to be. You feel me? So, Maul, he don't, he don't be worrying about what Mel be talking about because that's his little brother and he love him. And he love him. And he know what he feel about him. Just like Mel know what Maul feel about him. And this is the thing we got to get past, family. Uh, when you're looking at brothers, man, like I say, brothers fight. But it ain't for people to get on her and try to divide them, divide them. Like, oh, man, you know, he did this, he did that. Because at the end of the day, that's their business. That's their business, bro. And if you try to go to Jamal and say, yeah, Ma, man, you know, Jamil said that old weak-ass shit, man. He, Ma, go take, man, get the fuck out of my face talking about my brother if I punch you on your shit. And the same thing with Jamil. Just because he said what he said about Maul, he want to set himself apart. He feel like he better than his brother. Ain't nobody for to be able to walk up to him and say, you know what, Mill, you is right, bro. 
Maul ain't doing this. Maul ain't doing that. You know, he he scared, bro. You the real. He go, tell man, get the fuck out of my face before I punch you in your shit. Don't come to me talking to me about my brother. You feel me? What I say about my brother gives me the right to say about my brother. Not you. Not you, motherfucker. You know, you're not credible enough to come to me and talk about my brother. You're not my mom or my daddy. You ain't my, my other brother or sister. You ain't my sibling. You better get your ass out of my face. You know what I'm saying? So don't let this go to, 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 the, to the head. And this for all of us to where we think where you can walk into one of them mans and say something about them, about their brother to them. It ain't going to work that way. It's going to turn out bad for you, homie. You know what I'm saying? It's going to turn out bad for you. So please keep that in mind. But with that being said, you know, Jamil Cholo want to set himself apart, bro. He feel like he better than them all. He feel like he better than them. And that's the way you're supposed to feel when you're in this fight game. Brother or not. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Brother or not. You're supposed to feel that way when you're in this fight game that you're the best. You're better than everybody. That's the only way you go get to where you need to get to. And that's the only way you're going to achieve what you need to achieve. You feel me? Because in this boxing game, you got to feel like you're the greatest. You got to. And I don't knock nobody who do. Never have, never will. But at the same time, bro, you know, Jamel Charlo is coming out, you know, and it's something that's going on between him and his brother that they going to have to fix. They going to have to fix that. Because Mel feel like he's better than all, you know. Uh, we seen the situation at first when they were going back and forth with each other. You know, the entourages don't get along. And, and it's just a, some things that's going on in their circle that they got to work on, bro, that they got to work on, you know. But Mel Charlo is coming out here letting people know, man, that. I am about to be undisputed. I am making my own lane. I'm not worrying about nobody else. I'm not chasing nobody else, right? My brother's career is his career. I'm not responsible for what he does in his career. That's him. I'm not responsible for what he say. That's what he says. But I do have confidence that my brother will fight anybody. I do know the heart of my brother that he will fight anybody. But at the same time, I still can't put him in the ring with those people. You understand me? I know what I can do. I know who I can get into the ring with. And I can only control my own destiny. So look at me as Jamel Cholo and not Jamal Cholo, right? Yes, we are the Cholo brothers, but we don't dictate our next move. We're not even hanging out with each other right now. We didn't even hang out on our birthday, what it looks like. You know, both of them in training camp, where they probably text and FaceTime each other. Happy birthday. I love you, bro. Enjoy the day. Get ready to whoop ass, uh, you know, when it's time to whoop ass. But we're not even hanging out like that right now. So, give me my respect. Respect me for what I'm doing. Get Ma his respect. Respect him for what he's doing. But over here, you'll get 100% Jamel Cholo. I'm going to tell her how it is. These are my feelings, right? And I can only tell my own truth. That's why I respect Jamel Cholo, because he don't hold back. You know what I'm saying? He don't hold back. He give us him. And that's to be commended. You feel me? But at the end of the day, these brothers will be A-OK. -okay. Understand that. Don't get it messed up. Both of them are great. Both of them are going to be Hall of Famers. And they're going to continue to keep giving us great fights. You feel me? And I respect both of them. And I root for both of them. And I wish both of them nothing but the best. And for them to squash whatever the beef that they got going on. Because at the end of the day, family is all that matters. And y'all boys is all y'all got. Y'all boys are all y'all got. You know what I mean? So we'll just see how it play out in the future, fam. Until then, it's your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down. Big dog status, family.